Hello everyone, uh, now I'm going to tie this jack nymph style nymph uh, and for this purpose I'm going to use Dohiku 644 hook in size 10. Usually I would make it a little bit smaller than this but this is like easier for tying for the video purposes. So uh, I'm going to match the color of insect with a thread, so it's going to be green. And before I add lead, I like to add my thread because in this way I'm going to make a nice uh, under layer for my lead and it's going to grab better. The glue, because it's self-adhesive foil, is going to, uh, to, uh, to adhere to for the lead a little bit better. So, cut the excess and Proceed to the bend near down the bend and leave it behind the hook because you you don't need it right now. For this purpose, I pre-cut a little bit of lead foil, rather thin strip. You can compare it to the hook, like maybe two three widths of the hook. And uh, the reason behind that is uh, it's easier to wrap it around if you have it. Then if you have it like very wide, it's not going to work. So I'm going to move this backwards and I'm going to go around with the hook, uh, with the lead around the hook and I'm going to make those tight wraps without any spacing between or overlapping. That's why the, the foil is very narrow. So when you reach more or less head point, you want to remove this. Well, I wanted it a little bit shorter, but this is going to work too. And with your nail, work your way around it, make it thinner even, and remove what you don't need. So, like, like so. And for the ba back part, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to just push it around. And if I need, I'll use a little bit of help of my scissors. Now you can rotate your eyes if you can and make everything as smooth as and as thin as possible. It's very important to make body proper proper underbody before proceeding to the tying of the fly. So let me see if I did cor this one correctly. No, the glue is fighting me here, but let never mind. Let's try to yeah. The taper is going to be nice. Now you can see that here there is a little bit of gap but I'm going to fill it in with a thread so now I'm making underbody with my thread now I'll, I'll attach ribs it's monofilament tippet material I squeezed it a little bit with my teeth here so the thread is going to catch it a little bit better and in open turns, as you can see, I'm going towards the back of my fly. Okay. Now the tricky part. Um, I'm, I'm using fat, flat body glass for the back cover. And it, as you can see, it's stretchy material, but pretty strong and rather thick here. And maybe you can see it, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to make pointy part at the tip of it like this and then you're going to use your nail I'm going to do it a little bit more to towards well I can sorry I'll do it for the purpose of the video so you can see what I'm doing so place your nail where you want your flat glass to be and then with one turn without any uh, without any pressure then make one turn and then without pressure first and then add pressure and as you go back pull and stretch this body glass material it's important to pull it to make it thinner if you don't pull it, it's going to be very wide and it's probably going to rotate around the hook 
because my thread is going upwards I want this downwards to compensate for the rotation during the, the tying in process so this is a little bit too much into the bend of the hook I'm gonna go back and this is fine well not that fine I don't like to go that much into the bend so I'll return the hook now very important part body so I'm going to use green olive SLF Davy Watson's dubbing uh, green olive sorry and when you dub the body it's very important that you don't do this take a bunch of dubbing and go around the thread because you're going to make crap sorry for my language so take as little as you can like this and go around your thread so press it against your thread one two and done if you think it's too thick you can spread it around the thread and make it thinner it's very important that you start your fly with thin dubbing then see just just a few hairs here and then just a few hairs so add a little bit more and more so make very thin dubbing noodle as you can see the thinner the better it's easier to add more wraps with this kind of dubbing than to remove any dubbing when you finish your fly and you're not satisfied with it so when you finish your dubbing noodle you want uh, in touching turns so make touching turns with dubbing sorry so as you can see the body is going to be very thin so touching turns don't overlap nothing and now you can see why I put uh, matching color of the thread because if anything happens I can cover it with thread so you can see it's very thin now I'll continue with dubbing on the fly so as I said just a little bit one two push and you want to cover with this basic green color maybe slightly around the uh, half of the hook which would be right about here now because there is no flash or something in this nymph now I'm going to add a little bit of UV dubbing in pink you can do orange or whatever color you think it's nice for a hot spot same rules apply here so just a little bit of dubbing and pull it up so go it's easier if you do little by little you can see that dubbing noodle is very thin which, which is very good so now you want to make hot spot here you don't want to make it too white or too thick just a little bit of I think this is more or less enough and now proceed to the thorax part the thorax part is going to be hair's ear now this this part here is going to be spiky is going to create legs and it's going to create contrast as well with this part here so you want to plug it out little by little like so so now you can see there is a little bit of under fur here but mostly it's those spiky hairs just like this press it against, against the thread spin around press it against the thread spin around now this one is not so important to be neat in any way it can be a little bit thicker than the, the rest of the fly so I'm just plucking out what I need take some spiky hairs turn them around the thread always press it against the thread that's very important because it's going to start wrapping better when you spin your fingers now I think I see my body here so I don't underbody sorry Now I need a little bit more and we are pretty much near the end of the fly so notice how those hairs are already 
somehow aligned so you can use that when you are pressing it against the thread so press with your thread also pretty much hard on the dubbing because the spiky dubbing if you don't uh, secure it with thread hard it's going to go out under the thread so your fly is going to stay bare naked after a few fish okay this is more or less it leave the space for the head and this is it this is space for the head now what I like to do move those hairs down leave some space for the for this part and now I'll spin my vice again so as you can see I stretch it to match the size and width of the hook stretch and then go with with your thread sorry All right, okay. These two or three wraps are just for security reasons. Now, you want to start first wrap on the bare hook and then in spirals. And as after each wrap, just keep the tension because the monofilament is quite live in your hands. So it's quite difficult to rip without slipping out and as you can see I rotate it so because my phone is too close what I need to do I want to rotate this the opposite way and when I press I'm gonna compensate again and again and again Whoop. press it and here we are done we need to catch it with few wraps what I like to do notice the position of the of the monofilament now with, with keeping the tension I'm gonna flip it back with few turns I'm gonna catch it and secure it lock it down that's very important so it won't go out now because those caddis flies tend to have those black heads I'm gonna dye this black no need to change thread in this in this moment okay you can also use this and th color the thread now keep the tension all the time prepare for the knot pull this back and go over the flat glass material I like to do this to lock everything in place even more it has a little bit bigger head but not a big deal and the next knot can be in front of it so it's, it'll create a little bit of taper here and a nicer head so this would be Czech nymph style usually with these flies I would add bead but this one is lighter uh, the reason why I like to add bead on these flies is because I use, use usually uh, just one fly and uh, this is not heavy enough for most situations uh, thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video give it a like share subscribe and see you next week